Hello there. If you don't already know about TechScope, it is the best scope companion software. TechScope lets you connect to scopes remotely, acquire data, collaborate with others using native tech drive integration, and gives you the flexibility to perform advanced waveform analysis on your PC. Basically, all the bells and whistles you will find on an expensive scope hardware, but within the convenience of your own PC. By the way, TechScope also has a programmable interface for those of you who want to automate your test and measurement needs. We are excited to announce the release of version 1.40, available starting May 22. In this video, I will walk you through key enhancements and also a quick demo of our new continuous acquisition feature. Let's start with what's new. The coolest feature in this release is continuous acquisition. More details later. Next feature. You know the times when you're working on a critical path project and all of a sudden you're locked out of your software? Just because your auto renew didn't work and your license expired. And now you have to go through procurement processes to get it renewed. We've added a new notification feature that alerts the user 45 days in advance before their current license is about to expire. We've also added two new measurements in our Power and Automotive Pro packages. One for inverter motor drive analysis and another for wideband gap double pulse testing. Talking about enhancements, we've updated our programmable interface document for better custom automation. We fixed a few bugs that caused connectivity issues with 3 series MDOs and another bug that caused issues saving or recalling .isf files. While this release is great, there are a few outstanding items we could not wrap up and will be picked up in a future release. We've seen issues with TSP1KC and 2KB's data import during peak detect. We've also seen some users report issues when using MSO58B's AUX trigger in a MSO54 and then you connect both of them in TechScope's multi-scope port to acquire data. We're working hard on these and we'll have a beta available with fixes soon. Please drop us a note if you're interested in the beta. Now let's talk about the star of the show, continuous acquisition. With this feature, it's now possible to keep acquiring new waveforms as your trigger conditions are met. The neat thing is, you can add a decode measurement table that will keep a track of results from each waveform as well. You don't have to manually hit the acquire button anymore. If you're not interested in recording indefinite number of waveforms, you can also define specific number of acquisitions. That's why in version 1.40, the acquire badge has been updated with two options, continuous or sequence. A quick thing to remember is that at any point, if the settings are changed, like horizontal, vertical, or trigger conditions, whether in tech scope or on the actual remote scope, the acquisitions start again, which works out great when you are just setting things up and want the flexibility to keep getting waveform without having to hit that acquire button each time. Okay, demo time. I'm going to connect to a TBS 2000 scope and do some I2C decoding. I will be saving my results directly in TechCloud to share with the rest of my team for their input. The three cool things about this setup is that my scope, TBS 2000, is kind of old and it does not actually have the decode package. It also does not support saving files to tech drive. But thanks to TechScope, I am covered. I can remotely connect to this slightly older scope, use my TechScope Pro subscription to decode the waveforms, and even share waveforms and my results with my team over TechDrive. Let's fire up TechScope. I'm connecting to my scope using its IP address. Actually, before doing that, I will enable the remote control feature of TechScope. This way, whatever horizontal, vertical, or trigger conditions I set in TechScope will also be directly done on the actual scope as well. As a default, when you connect to your scope, TechScope grabs the current waveform. Since we are decoding I2C bus, let's add a bus. My clock is channel 1 and my data is on channel 2. I'm driving a 5 volt signal, so 2.5 volts will be ample threshold. Let's also change vertical settings to 2 volt for both channels. A horizontal scale of, let's change this manually. 
sample rate of 2.5 million samples per second should be enough. I also want the record length to be at least 250,000 points. Turning off delay and setting position to 10% is fine. And yes, let's also add a trigger on clock. Since it's I2C, the data starts at clock's falling edge. Let's also add a decode measurements table so I can see the decoded packet in a neat little table. Looks like we are ready to capture our waveforms and see how the new data acquisition feature works. Let's start by using the sequence option and capture three waveforms first. Right click on the acquisition batch and let's set the sequence to three. Let's hit acquire. Looks like our trigger worked. We are capturing waveforms meeting our trigger conditions. Oh, by the way, remember the remote control feature we turned on at the beginning? Because of that, see how the vertical, horizontal, and trigger settings got propagated from tech scope to the actual scope as well. Let's now do another acquisition. This time, let's select the continuous option. And remember, during acquisition, whether continuous or sequence, if you change settings like horizontal, vertical, or trigger, the acquisition starts again. I think five waveforms are enough for this demo, so I'm going to hit stop. Now that we've got all the information here, I'm going to save and share my whole session with someone in my team. Going File, Save, Session, Browse to my Tech Drive folder. Let's give a file name and hit Save. I'm selecting Session so I get the waveforms plots, measurement, etc. When my colleagues open up this file in their tech drive, they can view it within the browser or even download and load it up on their own tech scope for further analysis. I hope you enjoyed this video and are all excited about our latest tech scope release. Thank you for your time.